Support for this episode is provided by Jonathan Green, Quality Lawns since 1881. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the shop. My next project is going to be this planter. And as you can see, it has turned legs as a decorative element at the bottom. And because not everybody has a lathe in their shop, I wanted to give you an alternative leg design in case you want to build this planter. And this design will only require your table saw and your miter saw. I'm starting out with eight quarter material to build the legs and eight quarter material generally measures an inch and seven eighths. So the first step was to rip the board at an inch and seven eighths to give me a blank that measures an inch and seven eighths by an inch and seven eighths. And the next step is to cut the leg to length. Let's pretend that we're working on four legs here and you'd want to repeat this step on each leg. So the first thing I'm going to do is square up one end of each leg. Next, set up a stop block and cut the legs to 21 and a quarter. With the bottom of the leg against the fence and the fence set at two and a half inches, I set the height of the blade at a quarter of an inch and changed the angle to 45 degrees. I'll make one pass on each side of the leg, rotating the leg with each pass. From the bottom of the leg, I'll measure up three and a half inches and square across and draw a line like this to remind me that I want the 45 degree angle to be on this side of the line. Working from the other side of the fence, I've adjusted the fence so the blade is at the line. Again, I'm using the miter gauge. I'll make four passes, rotating the leg with each pass. Let's take a quick minute and talk about this episode's sponsor. I'm happy to be working with Jonathan Green again this year. I really like having a nice lawn, and in fact, I enjoy cutting the lawn. And to do that, you need a good, healthy lawn. My lawn seeding process starts with Jonathan Green Black Beauty Ultra Grass Seed. That's going to give you a lawn with a three to four foot deep root system, which is going to be more drought resistant than other lawns. When I put down the grass seed, I'll also put down the Jonathan Green Green Up lawn food for seeding and sodding, and that's going to fertilize the seed and the lawn. Next, I'll put down the Jonathan Green Magic Cal Plus. That's going to adjust the soil pH, and it's also going to loosen hard, compacted soil. After I put all the products down, I'll run the slicer over the lawn to make sure that I get good seed soil contact. If you don't have a big lawn like mine, you could also use a rake, but it is important to get that good seed soil contact and then water it. This year, seed your lawn and feed your soil with Jonathan Green. Click on the link in the description to purchase or learn more about Jonathan Green products. I've set the height of the blade so I'm at the bottom of the 45 degree angle. And I've also adjusted the fence so I'm at the bottom of the 45 degree angle. I've already made one pass. Now I'll continue to rotate the leg and plow out the material. For the next cut, the height of the blade remains the same, but I've readjusted the fence to be at the bottom 
of the upper 45 degree angle cut. After plowing out the material in the center, I gave the legs a quick sanding to remove the blade marks and then readjusted the angle of the blade to 45 degrees and set the fence at an inch and three quarters. I'm gonna cut a 45 degree angle on each corner of the leg. And the important thing here is to not cut into this portion. So you're just gonna keep an eye on what you're doing. You'll push into the blade. And once you see it getting close, back off, rotate the leg and make another cut. I've set the miter saw at a 45 degree angle and set up a stop block so I can cut a chamfer the same width as this chamfer at the bottom of each side of the leg. Okay, so that's the detail for the bottom of the leg. And just for one more design element, at the top of the leg, I'm measuring in three quarters of an inch. And I've set the miter saw at a 10 degree angle. And I'll bring the miter saw down just to check, make sure I'm on that line. And then I'll set up a stop block and I'll cut that 10 degree angle at the top of each side. Okay, and that's it. It's a very simple leg to make. And it's funny, that little detail at the top, I think makes a world of difference. I do have that same detail on the top of this leg. And uh, I think that both legs look good. And this one doesn't really look any better than this. Uh, it's just I wanted to do a little turning. On my last video, I had a few questions about the inserts. I found this over at Lowe's. And I'll leave a link in the description. You can check it out if you want to. Like I said uh, in the other video, I built this planter around the insert because I always feel like the weak link in a planter is just the soil rotting the planter from the inside out. So I hope that you found this video helpful. And if you build the planter, I hope that you'll post it on Instagram and tag me. I'd love to see what you made. As always, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Before you start your next project, visit my website and check out my professional woodworking plans. The detailed instructions along with material lists and free video tutorials on YouTube will help you build a project that will last a lifetime.